Yes, this is this problem right here. The question is asking use the Rolle's theorem and the intermediate value theorem to show that the equation 2x plus cos x equals 0 has exactly one real root. So, first of all, uh, we take the intermediate value theorem. So, to prove uh, int uh, from intermediate value theorem, what we have to do is we have to prove this uh, this equation has a value that's below 0 and above 0. So, if it has the value below 0 and above 0, it means uh, it has exactly one, ex it has a re real root that's between them. So, let's see how we can do that. So, first of all, uh, let's consider, let's take a value. So, we have to take, first of all, let's check the 0 value. So, when f, f, f is 0, what is the value? So, first of all, um, I, I would like to set this one into ffx equation. So, this is going to be ffx is equal to 2x plus cos x, right? Cos x. Then, I, what I do, I have to check some random values and find values that below 0 and above 0. If we find that, then that means this is continuous and continuous on these intervals and therefore there's a real root between them. So let's see how we can do this. First of all, I take the value 0. If I take the value 0, it's going to be 2 times 0 plus cos, cos 0. So cos 0 is 1. 2 times 0 is 0. Therefore, it's going to be 1. 1 is above 0. So we can say uh, 1 that is greater than 0, right? Greater than 0. And uh, let's take another value. So for example, if I take... Uh, if I take, I have to find a value that is below 0 now. So let's take value negative 1 and check it whether we get whether we get a value below 0. So if I take that one, it's going to be 2 times minus 1 and this is going to be cos cos minus 1 equal to so cos 1 is basically 0 and 2 times minus 1 is going to be cos uh, cos minus 1 so it's uh, it's not 0 because cos 5 by 2 is 0 but this is not 0 it's going to be a negative value because this is going to be a negative value and this is going to be a negative value so we know that this is below uh, below 0 so we can say this value is below 0 therefore therefore so by intermediate theorem intermediate value theorem intermediate value theorem value theorem uh, f of x has at least at least one real root so uh, so this is how we prove that this one has at least one real root but sometime it might have more than one real root so to do to check whether it has more than one real root we have to go for the Rolle's theorem so before I do the Rolle's theorem I had to it has to satisfy three conditions first uh, to apply Rolle's theorem it has to be this function has to be continuous so whether to fix check whether this function is continuous let's see so for for, for example this is f of x is equal to 2x plus cos x so if you look at the domain, uh, domain can be any real number for this this function. Therefore, this is continuous. So this is uh, this satisfies the con first continuous uh, f first condi condition. So this is continuous in this interval. So if it I am taking just a b random interval, it can be any real number. So it's it's continuous in any real number. So we can say this is continuous. And second condition, it has to be differentiable. To check whether it is differentiable, we have to check the f first derivative. So in this case, first derivative is going to be 2, uh, derivative of 2x is going to be 2, 2 plus uh, cos, uh, derivative of cos x is minus sin x, therefore 2 minus sin x. Here also x can be any real number, therefore this is differentiable. Differentiable. But we don't know the end point. A and B is not given. This end point is not given. So we, we just assume these are equal. So uh, to apply Rolle's uh, theorem, the endpoints, when you apply endpoints, it has to be equal. For example, f of a should be equal to f of b. 
but we don't know for sure because we don't have the value so we just assume this is true and apply the uh, Rolle's theorem so if these three conditions are true well the Rolle's theorem says therefore the derivative of Rolle's theorem should be equal to the this value the first first derivative so it should be like we have to set it to zero and find the x value right so that's that's what Rolle's theorem says so if we take we know the first derivative is 2 minus sin x 2 minus sin x equal to 0 and if I solve for x that will give the real root in this case uh, if I solve for this one 2 is equal to 2 it comes out to be 2 is equal to sin x but it's not possible because we know the maximum sign can be it's 1 because it if you see the sign graph this is going to be like this can be so maximum sign sign can be my one or minus one that's the maximum maximum and minimum therefore this is not true therefore this is contradiction contradiction it means our assumption is assumption is wrong and uh, it, it just has one real root that's it so the the question is ex asking exactly exact the same thing is asking use the Rolle's theorem and intermediate value theorem to show that the equation has exactly one real root so it satisfies the intermediate value theorem therefore it shows exactly one real root and it doesn't have more than one so that's it that's how we solve this question and i hope you guys like this video see you next time